So the other day, there was a very interesting leak about what's going to end up happening to pretty much the next couple generations of your particular iPhone. And it's actually kind of rumored that we might be getting actually a smaller display on the next upcoming iPhones than we'd probably actually hope. Now, the thing that we're probably expecting for these particular iPhones is that they might actually be ending and they might end up getting smaller than we may have probably expected. But it doesn't look like if all the generation of iPhones are going to be getting this type of smaller screen, it looks like there's going to be one generation, which is actually going to be the plus version of these particular iPhones. So it actually looks like, in a way, the iPhone 17 generations may actually end up getting somewhat of a smaller display. Now, once again, we don't know exactly how small these displays will be, but as of right now, the iPhone 15 Plus, as we all know, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max all have 6.7 inch displays, which are great. I love having those displays, but it looks like these next generation of iPhones with the 17 Plus is going to have a smaller display, which is going to be smaller than the current iPhone 17 Pro Max. Now, there's a couple of different reasons why I think this may actually end up happening, but the biggest reason and one of the main reasons why I think something like this may actually end up happening for the most part is basically due to, you may have guessed it, is because of the difference and the similarity between the 15 Plus and the 15 Pro Max. When we take a look at these particular devices with the 15 Plus and the 15 Pro Max, you actually basically see that these particular devices, you know, they're going to have basically, you know, the same size display. So why would you end up getting a device that's like the 15 Plus, you know, when you can get, the, why would you get the 15 Pro Max? We can get the 15 Plus and kind of save some money. They have the exact same display. So why not, you know, you know why not go down that direction? So I do think there's a big of a reason for Apple to go through and basically switch over to something like the iPhone, you know, with a smaller display on at least the plus version. Again, we don't know for a fact, but I'm thinking that's basically what's going to end up happening. So we're going to have to kind of see what happens there, but I will tell you one thing for sure. And these particular iPhones are still going to have very, very good displays. They're still going to be very fast. And whether you get the 15 plus or the 15 pro max, you're still going to be getting amazing iPhones when it comes down to it. The only other thing I can really think of is the processors they're going to use inside. And as always, we really don't know what's going to end up happening here. It can be a couple of different things, but I, for one, I'm a pretty big i mean i really like having these particular iphones that end up having really good displays and if they're smaller or whatever you know it, it's not a big deal but it's going to come down to the resolution and size and how those particular iphones will hold up from that particular perspective because once again you don't want to go ahead and get an iphone that's going to be getting like a smaller display if it's going to be way slower or way weirder in a lot of different directions so once again that's just another kind of small thing to keep in mind but regardless for me i definitely am very very excited about the next generation of iphones and i cannot wait for these particular devices to come out so in terms of that that kind of covers it up there if you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.